Well, they respond to dangerous fires, deadly shootings, and natural disasters. So how do our first responders handle the significant trauma that comes with the job? Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean takes us inside a state-funded training program that helps our local heroes protect themselves. When firefighters respond to an alarm, they put on more than 60 pounds of protective safety equipment a flame-resistant suit, a thermoplastic helmet, an oxygen tank, and more. But some of the most vital safety preparation happens well before the alarm, in a classroom. What's acceptable in our world? Be angry about something. This is called Critical Incident Stress Management Training. It's provided by the Warriors Rest Foundation through a Missouri Department of Public Safety grant. Missouri law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs are all able to participate in this program for free. The goal is to provide techniques to these first responders to help them cope and process with the trauma that they face or risk facing every single day on the job. Sunrise Beach's fire chief, Joseph LaPlante, was at one of the training seminars held in Jefferson City this week. What this does for us is this gives us the basis to recognize, re recognize those issues, uh, gives us the tools to deal with those issues, and gives us an outlet to pass those people on to more advanced care. Teresa Torciello Miller also participated this week. She's been in the fire service for a decade, right now serving with the Waynesville Rural Fire Protection District. I've come across several traumatic calls in my 10 years, probably more than the average person um, kind of goes hand in hand with being a first responder. Torciello Miller said, however, she recently gained a new perspective on her work when her son was born. For me personally, being a mom now, the children affect me the most, um, but I do have a soft spot for the older generation because I can relate to like my grandpa and my mima and it just, everyone's affected differently. That's why Warriors Rest instructor Gary Isbell said a big part of the program is about helping these first responders help each other, reshaping the culture in these agencies to be constantly monitoring their colleagues for any signs of distress. If you have children, it's, it's okay that you associate that with your child. It's not okay to be struggling with it and not reach out for help. And there is where we've, we're trying to break that stigma, whether it be prior military, first responders, or just the citizens we serve. Ten years ago, the number of reported suicides among first responders overtook the number of on-duty deaths. Isbell said the more our communities can normalize conversations about trauma and mental health, the closer we'll be to reversing that trend. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, WGEM News.